How's it going guys? My name is Nathan Cook with GG Essentials and today I'll be giving you a how-to video on the Logitech Pro Gaming Keyboard software. Um, that software is G-Hub and we're actually just going to go ahead and show you how to download it right now. So type in G-Hub, go to the official Logitech.com which is going to look like this right now. It might look different in the future. They always seem to change the layout. Um, so yeah, go ahead and just download for Windows or Mac, whatever one you're using. Double click that in the bottom once it's done installing, and yes. We're going to go ahead and install that. Once it's ready to go, you can go ahead and close the main thing, and we are ready to install. You can close the browser, not the main thing. Okay, now that it's installed, we're here. We're just going to go ahead and click through all this and launch G-Hub. I like to share my usage data and whatnot with them because I want to support the, um, you know, all, any improvement that they're going to make. I want to help that. All right, so we're here. We are in the main area. Um, right about here is where they're going to show you all the items you have that um, work with the G Hub. Uh, and they'll show up all right here. I only have the one. This is all I use as far as Logitech uh, currently. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And this right here is Light Sync. We have our three options, Light Sync, Assignments, and Game Mode. But today we're just going to be talking about Light Sync. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start with Preset. Preset is pretty basic, probably the one that has the least amount of options. But it is really cool. So we have our effects and our colors. Uh, the options down here somewhat change depending on what effects we're using. So we'll go ahead and start with effects. We have Fixed, which of course is just the one color. Uh, well, Fix has the one color, but you can actually change that color to whatever you want. And it'll just be the one solid fixed color. Uh, this is how you change the colors. You can slide it to whatever you want. You can adjust it to more of like a, a, a lighter tone of pink if you want, or red, you know, dark red, black, whatever you want. You can change it to that. And then just click the color option again and it'll set that away. You can also, if you really like a color, let's say I want a green, but I don't I want it to be more of like a dark green. You can then add this color right there. So now that color is there and you can reference it when you want to change something else. All right, so let's go to the next effect. We have cycle. Cycle just changes the... Uh, you know, it goes through every single color at a certain pace, and this is how you change the pace or rate, whatever you want to call it. Um, all the way to the left is going to make it slower at 20,000 milliseconds. All the way to the right, you get 1,000 milliseconds, and it changes super quick. Um, and anywhere in between. You can do whatever you want to do with that. Next effect, we got color wave. This one lets you change the actual cycle option. So as you can see, it's horizontal, so it's going to go to the right. You can change it to vertical so it goes up and down. Um, you know, reverse, horizontal, reverse, center out, center in. So they all, you know, there's a lot of cool color options, uh, for, or I should say cycle options for this one. Different rates you can make. And uh, it kind of just goes on like that. There's a bunch of different effects that you can use that have the different rates. Some of them give you a color, like let's say Echo Press. This one's one of my favorite ones. This one gives you a color, let's say we want solid red. And then as far as the echo press goes, that's the echo color. You can have the uh, the light blue like they're giving you here. And then as you can see, green, I'm going to go ahead and press F here. And you can see it changes to a blue. I'm going to set that to the longest it can stay up. I'll press it again right here. So we got F and it just stays blue. It stays for as long as we set it for. And we can, of course, change it to where it does it a lot quicker. F, D, you know. And again, you can change it to whatever color you want. Either color. You Let's change the, the Echo Press to green. We'll do F again. Boom. F, D, and C. Yeah. So they got the cool different effects. And that's pretty much it. You can change, like I said, any of the effects, some of the colors on it, and some of the, um, some of the rates and cycles. All right, next is Freestyle. Freestyle is a fun one. This is where I spent most of my time um, messing with different 
you know, colors, whether it be for my logo or my stream or different videos, this is usually what I use um, when I'm trying to like set the tone for certain things. As far as effects go, you can you can't really add effects. I would say you can add a freestyle and name it, and then have it be. And this is how you name it. You just go up here, and let's just say GGE. Um, so you name it, and then I'll set it. We'll change it to dark blue. In order to do that, you just you go to the color, you change it to whatever color you want, and then you can grab it like a normal, you know, like you're trying to edit a, a Word document or something. You're just going to take out a whole paragraph. Well, there you go. Now it's all blue, dark blue. We can actually set each individual key to a different color. So you can literally have each one be a completely different color than each other. Um, but what we're going to do is we're just going to show you how that kind of works. You can take one. There you go. You can click it and it'll change or you can grab and grab a column of them and you can change them to, like I said, any color you want. You know, the yellow and blue, that's like my colors. You know, that's my brand colors and everything. So I like that one. We're going to also just change the escape to red and the delete to red as well. And there you go. So now this is all saved. This is just how it is. I can actually close the entire application and this will stay up on my keyboard as long as I let it. So, but yeah, that's it for freestyle. Let's move on. All right, next is animations. And animations are pretty cool. Um, so you have your effects and you can go into contrast. So contrast, these are all preset ones and they're very similar to the presets. So I'm not actually gonna go through all the presets. I just wanna show you the main reason why animations is kinda of cool to use and that is to actually add your own animation. And this little bar right here is what you're gonna be using to work on everything. So these little cubes are the, basically the frames that you're using, right? Um, and I'm actually going to add on a bunch more because we're going to use all these. This is the first one. We're going to click on it. And then we have our colors. We have our, our transitions, default cycle, and our default speed. You can change all that in each of these little cubes, I believe. Um, but we're going to go ahead and just take this first cube. We're going to change it to a solid because we want this to just be the solid color that we're using. And this is what color we will be using be a dark blue and the other color will be yellow and hopefully that stays like that we're gonna go to the second area we want dark blue and we'll start from the bottom like they did boom we got yellow and it's on this little this this is a transition scene so now that I've done one let me do one more that way I can just show you guys exactly what's going on here. We want to take two bars this time because the first one had one bar, the second one is going to have two. Let me just show you what's going on now. So now we have the first bar gets taken over, the second bar gets taken over, and then obviously it's, I still need to edit the rest, but there you go, you see. Yeah, you can see it being taken over, and that's good. That's what we wanted. We're going to have to do the same thing with all the other ones to make it look exactly how we want. Use three. And you get quicker as, uh, you know, the more experience you have. There we go. And then this one will just have solid yellow. Boom. Now we can watch the whole thing replay. So that's just one animation. Uh, a pretty cool one. That's one we made. And you can obviously mess around with it. And feel free to, you know, change different colors, change different animations, figure out which one suits you. This is probably one of the, the more cool settings that you can mess with in this. Um, but again, I kind of personally, I just stick with freestyle. It's super simple and I, and I like it. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for all the settings in light sync. Um, I myself am just going to keep it on GGE. I really like this one. This this the one that just fits my scene the most, I think. Um, but yeah, hope this helped you guys out. If you guys were confused about it or if you guys were just thinking about getting the keyboard, um, I hope this really helped out. And if it did, please leave a like. Also, if you guys are still wondering if you want this keyboard or not and need just a little bit of information, I do have a review I will link up on the Logitech G Pro keyboard. Um, so hopefully if you guys check that out. That'll help you make a decision on if you even want it or not. But 
yeah, this is this is just a how to, and I hope it helps. So, yeah, you guys have a good day or night, and I'll see you next video.